a few people asked me about doing a video on raid teams. So here is the first in a possible series to help people understand raids at a fundamental level and maybe help guide them to that top level, if raids are your thing. For the first video, I thought I would highlight the 3 best raid units currently in Guardian Tales for Nintendo Switch and explain what makes them valuable. Bear in mind, I'm far from an expert raider, so this is just bargain bin level knowledge. The 3 units I'm going to be highlighting are Tinia, Nari and Veronica. So feel free to use the timestamps to jump to whichever hero you are most interested in. Starting with Tinia. Now I've sang Tinia's praises in more than one video and to this day she is still my favourite character to pilot when it comes to lead heroes. But the reason Tinia is awesome for raids is threefold. Tinia has a great party buff for raids which is the range attack up party buff. Why this is great is because raids are all about damage and Tinia's buff will boost the damage of all 4 party members so long as they do range damage. The second fault to Tinia being great is that she has a universal defense debuff which she can place on the enemy which, once again, increases the damage done by all 4 party members. The cool thing about this buff is that it isn't locked to range only party members but to be optimal in raids, your entire party will be ranged when using Tinia. The final fault to Tinia being one of the best raid units is her ability to change her equipped weapon and not lose any of the above benefits she brings to the raid party. This essentially means that Tinia can go into any element range raid team you build and be one of the best units on that team. For example, you can run her on the dark team with Arabelle by giving her the wing of terror bow. She can be placed on the light range team with Gabrielle if you have an extra copy of Gabrielle's bow or any other light bow for that matter. And she can even be on the water range team with Garum, equipping either Garum's exclusive bow or Catherine's exclusive bow. And this flexibility is why Tinia is so great, not only in raids but if you ever need a flex unit in any other PvE mode. Now we will cover Nari next as she is very similar to Tinia, with very few nuance differences. First she has the exact same party buff of range attack up, so I don't need to explain that again. Second, she has a defense down ability but with a slight twist. Tinia's defense down is universal, meaning it drops both melee and ranged defense. Nari on the other hand specifically only drops ranged defense. Now this isn't a big deal as Nari is mainly going to be on ranged teams anyways but it is something to note. Two other notes about her defense down. The percentage amount is bigger as she decreases range defense by 20% while Tinia decreases all defense by 10. Not sure if Tinia's own will double stat because of application, so we'll just stick with Nari's own being bigger. But more importantly is that when placed on the same team, both Nari and Tinia's defense down debuffs will stat together against the boss, so don't be surprised if you see both of them running on the same raid teams. And that leads to Nari's last similarity to Tinia which makes her one of the best raid units. She is able to change her weapon to any element of your choice and still keep all of her previous advantages. Nari has one ace up her sleeves that Tinia does not have. After using her chain skill, Nari will boost the critical hit chance of all party members by 10% for 10 seconds, which again means more damage overall. And this one extra ability is probably able to make me rate her slightly higher than Tinia for raids. Now the final hero is Veronica and she is quite different from the first two. Out of the three, she is the only non DPS hero on the list but she does share one good raid trait with the other two and that is she does not need her exclusive weapon and can fully swap it out for any weapon that matches the element of the team you are placing her on. Veronica's specialty in raids is increasing the damage the other three members will do. So instead of a fourth DPS unit, Veronica can actually take slot 4 and still allow your team to do insane numbers. She does this by being a critical stat bot mostly. Her ability to increase the critical rate and critical damage of your party should not be underestimated. One more thing I want to add about Vero is that she ages like fine wine. You will not be disappointed if you invest into her as she only gets better and better with future updates. And that's it, my name is Kujets and you can expect more Guardian Tales videos in the future.